So, I've been using this lineup for over two years. And yep, I main Yoimiya. So, how this team actually works? Overload is a blah 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 elemental reaction. I mean. The damage scales with the Electro character's elemental mastery. And the damage is separated from both Pyro and Electro damage. I don't actually run EM Raiden. I mean I have this. So why I'm actually using them in same team? Both characters' artifact can be farmed in same artifact domain. Yoimiya is known for soloing bosses. You only need Zhang Li to avoid interruptions. She is also monster in overworld for her massive single attack damage and attack range. What's more, she's friendly with any devices because of how easy to play her. Raiden's elemental skill fills the gap of Yoimiya's energy recharge and elemental skill downtime. They also love to punish liftable mobs. The underrated Yoimiya elemental burst actually provides the reverse overload reaction when using Raiden. And Raiden quickly recharges whole team's elemental burst. And here's Farina, replacing the former member Kokomi. She's the missing piece for my team. To create a perfect Yoimiya synergy. Yellen was a great choice before and also Kokomi. But Farina did both healing and off-field hydro application that lasts longer than both combined. With these three in same team and Zhang Li protecting them while decreasing enemy's resistance. Making this team unstoppable even in Abyss. When it comes to exploration, Yoimiya is the range especially flying enemies. Raiden Shogun is the battery and huge AoE damage, while Zhang Li do mining while protecting the team. And Farina is the buffer healer and off-field DPS. And in upcoming Nut LAN update, Yoimiya might be buffed more. I don't have any more to say except, Yoimiya is the best.